Episode 24, Questions and Answers are based on Chapter 10, Minced Fish Processing, of the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. What is the main objective of minced fish processing for direct human consumption? A. To enhance the flavor of fish products. B. To increase the shelf life of fish products. C. To utilize fish flesh efficiently. D. To create new fish species. What is the main objective of minced fish processing for direct human consumption? C. To utilize fish flesh efficiently. Why is processing fish into mince commonly done? A. To increase the market value of the fish. B. To remove unwanted fish parts. C. To make the fish more visually appealing. D. To handle fish caught in abundance with low market value. Why is processing fish into mince commonly done? D. To handle fish caught in abundance with low market value. How is minced fish made using the deboner machine? A. By chopping the fish into small pieces manually. B. By passing the whole fish through a blender. C. By forcing the soft meat portions through small holes while leaving the bones and fins outside the drum. D. By smoking the fish to create a minced texture. How is minced fish made using the deboner machine? C. By forcing the soft meat portions through small holes while leaving the bones and fins outside the drum. What are the components that remain on the outside of the perforated drum during the deboning process? A. Skin B. Scales C. Fins and bones D. All of the above What are the components that remain on the outside of the perforated drum during the deboning process? D. All of the above in the context of minced fish products, what are deboners? A. Fish fillying machines. B. Machines used to remove fish bones. C. Machines used to separate fish from prawns. D. Machines used to create fish jelly products. In the context of minced fish products, what are deboners? B. Machines used to remove fish bones. What types of products are manufactured from minced fish in Southeast Asian nations? A. Fish fillets and steaks. B. Fish jelly products, fish and prawn sausages, and burgers. C. Fish oils and supplements. D. Canned fish and fish sauce. What types of products are manufactured from minced fish in Southeast Asian nations? B. Fish jelly products, fish and prawn sausages and burgers. What other ingredient can be used to make minced products besides minced meat? A. Tofu B. Seaweed C. Surimi. D. Quinoa. What other ingredient can be used to make minced products besides minced meat? C. Surimi. Which of the following is not a reason for processing fish into mince? A. High market value. B. Seasonal availability. C. Abundance of catch. D. Low market value. Which of the following is not a reason for processing fish into mince? A. High market value. What is the main difference between fish mince and surimi? A. 
fish means is stabilized during frozen storage while surimi is not. B. There is no separation of the sarcoplasmic proteins and lipids in fish means. C. Surimi is made using a single fish species while fish means can contain multiple species. D. Surimi does not undergo leaching by water and the addition of additives while fish means does. What is the main difference between fish means and surimi? B. There is no separation of the sarcoplasmic proteins and lipids in fish means. The sarcoplasmic proteins include albumin, myoglobin, and enzymes. What are the most common and preferred raw materials for surimi manufacture? A. Carp and tilapia. B. Alaska pollock and blue whiting. C. Thread fin bream and milkfish. D. Barracuda and grouper. What are the most common and preferred raw materials for surimi manufacture? B. Alaska pollock and blue whiting. Technically, any fish can be utilized for surimi production. However, white-fleshed marine fish such as Alaska pollock and blue whiting are the most common and preferred raw materials for surimi manufacture. Which of the following is not mentioned as a tropical troll bycatch used for surimi production? A. Thread fin bream. B. Big eye snapper. C. Barracuda. D. Atlantic salmon. Which of the following is not mentioned as a tropical troll bycatch used for surimi production? The Atlantic salmon. Why are cryoprotective additives added to surimi before freezing? A. To improve the texture of surimi based products. B. To enhance the color of surimi based products. C. To reduce protein denaturation caused by freezing. D. To decrease the shelf life of surimi-based products. Why are cryoprotective additives added to surimi before freezing? C. To reduce protein denaturation caused by freezing. How do cryoprotectants interact with protein molecules in surimi? A. They slow down ice crystal growth. B. They completely freeze water in surimi. C. They bind with protein molecules and dehydrate them. D. They increase the tendency of protein denaturation. How do cryoprotectants interact with protein molecules in surimi? A. They slow down ice crystal growth. They bind with protein molecules and actually hydrate them, so they slow down ice crystal growth. Which of the following carbohydrates is not mentioned as a commonly used cryoprotective additive in surimi? A. Sucrose B. Sorbitol C. Lactose D. Glycolic Acid which of the following carbohydrates is not mentioned as a commonly used cryoprotective additive in surimi? D. Glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is not a cryoprotective additive. What potential issue may arise when using sucrose and sorbitol as cryoprotectants? A. They cause excessive freezing of water in surimi. B. They accelerate the Maillard reaction, leading to browning. C. They impart a strong sweet taste to some surimi-based products. D. They increase the risk of protein denaturation. What potential issue may arise when using sucrose and sorbitol as cryoprotectants? C. They impart a strong sweet taste to some surimi-based products.